Hey, what's up? Uh, there's going to be a much bigger video on the YouTube, but I wanted to come in and I wanted to say something. You know, I was looking through the videos when I realized that uh, a little, about 11 and a half months ago, I posted a video that said that I was going to start collecting Motu, Masters of the Universe. And you know, wow, it's almost been a year. And, you know, that honestly shocks me when I really stop and think about it, because, like, I've done so much in a year's time for Motu that it is, it is shocking. It is absolutely shocking. I can't think of the last time I had a fandom that hit me this hard. Like, I really can't. And I don't think it's a small thing. I don't think it's a small thing when I really stop and think about it. Because, like, fandoms that hit you real hard, that you dive in and you find yourself not getting bored. And we're not talking about, like, hey, I'm on kind of a Power Rangers kick. I'm kind of into it right now. Or, hey, I'm, I'm real interested in, like, replaying the Pokemon games. And then you get, like, two games in and you realize they're all pretty much the same or whatever. And you kind of go, unless you're super passionate, that's what I'm getting at. But, like... This hit me like I was not expecting. I mean, it. Well, I was not expecting the level. I've always been into this kind of thing. And I even did videos specifically talking about it. But, like, never to the extent that I expected. Like, I've always been into Swords and Sorcery, Red Sonya, Conan the Barbarian, things of that nature. Things that I just knew I was into always had an association with it, always had an interest and like a desire to be a bigger part of that fandom than I actually am. And then the next thing I knew, one day I just kind of said, you know what? Motu pretty much fits everything in that narrative, everything that I want right now, everything that I've been telling myself that I'm going to get into forever, forever. And I mean, I was already buying Conan the Barbarian books, Red Sonya books, things of that nature, but not, not Motu, not Motu anything. And then I just kind of jumped in. And it's not just the collecting. It's not just the collecting. I've read every single mini comic that was produced. I bought the giant compendium mini comic book. I read all of that. I read the entire current DC run of Motu, including the, uh, I read like the entire omnibus. I read the read the injustice thing. I read the uh, the injustice crossover, the 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 multiverse event. I read all of the uh, all the Thundercat stuff. All of it. I'm literally start to finish. Um, so I read all of that. I read all the mini comics. I uh, I'm currently reading the. Uh, uh, I don't even know how to explain what this is. Let me grab the book real quick so I can show you. I'm currently reading this. So I'm going to go through that, and that promises to be really cool, just like a basic, basic encyclopedia of the entire thing. And I have collected like crazy. I mean, just starting here alone... We got Dumbface Skeletor, and we go up here, and we got Battle Cat from Masterverse, and we go over to here where my comic books were kept for the longest time. I'm getting rid of my single issues. I, I'm just not interested in them, and maybe I'll have an entire talk on that if anybody's interested as to why I got rid of single issues. In fact, it's already on my YouTube in general, and I stocked stuff like that, and I got these two shelves over here, which I'm currently gutting the bottoms of, and they're going to be entire Masterverse shelves once those are up. I got my vehicles and whatnot and riders and things up there. We just got her, and she is terrific. So cool. We have an entire Motu shelf for stuff for the, uh, for the Origins line. I picked up this down here, which that is an absolute masterpiece. There's stuff yet to be opened. Right here, all along here. That's all the stuff that I've yet to be opened that's in the background of videos to come. And then going up here, that right there, lining across the entire top, is an entire huge wave of Masterverse 
that still needs to be opened all the way across here and still spots open because I've got stuff coming. And then I'm probably gonna drop down to here and these are probably all gonna be sorted onto a shelf in my bedroom because me and my wife share Pokemon as a thing that that's between the two of us. So it won't hurt to actually make a space for that kind of stuff. But I mean, I never, I never expected it to be this big to be that big of a thing that I would get in that hard. I've only been in this for a year. And, you know, not only did I read all that stuff, I watched Revelation. That's that's what got me started, was I watched Revelation and was like, holy, that is so good. Then I was interested. I heard all these complaints and all, all these angry people, basically uh, uh, people that are mad are often louder than people that are satisfied because if we're happy with our product, if we watch Revelation and we're just like, that was cool, right? We just kind of move on with our lives. And maybe if we come across somebody else that likes it, we, we enjoy it and we say, dude, what about that part? But the people that are mad, they got a lot to say and they say a lot and they're the loudest voices. So don't let the, don't let it, look, don't let it fool you that there's more people out there that hate it than there are the people that like it. Because I could tell you, at least on personal experience, I loved it. My wife loved it. And my wife has zero association with any of that stuff. She don't care about swords and sorcery and Red Sonia and Xena and Xena or anything like that. But she truly liked Revelation. And then I introduced it to my daughter, who, by the way, saw the original He-Man first the 80s He-Man first, and even she was mesmerized by Revelation. We watched the first five episodes, the first night I introduced it to her, and she said, when I wake up tomorrow and we have breakfast, we're finishing this. And I was like, that's fine. And we watched the entire thing. She woke up and we just ran through it. And then she even went home and was like, mom, you got to see this. And she made her mom and sister watch it. I mean, that says something right there. That's somebody who has zero nostalgia tied to it, and she could see why it was cool. And then after that, after I watched Revelation, I watched the entirety of the 80s series, every single episode. And then I watched a couple of back behind the scenes, toy documentaries, uh, uh, filmation documentaries, things of that, that nature, just so I could really get my head around where people were at the time and why this was a big deal and things like that and why it blew up. And then I went from there and I watched the first season of the 2000 X series. And that's currently my knowledge. That's, that's my base knowledge and understanding of something. And I've, I've been into this product for one year. That's it. One. I mean, to me, personally, I feel like Motu has hit like a wave that I never saw coming. Always had a mild interest. Never knew I would be this into it. But it just, it's so malleable. It's so powerful. It's so imaginative. It's so open. There's nothing it can't do, and that is genuinely impressive. It's like no other property I can think of, and I'm not kidding. And it really, it really, without a doubt, sits in my top five most appreciated, most loved fandoms, and I've only been here for a year. So I'm really interested to see where it goes from here. But guys... One year in Motu, I will have a bigger video coming to YouTube pretty soon, and this video will also be up on YouTube, but this is primarily, primarily a TikTok video. But regardless, one year in Motu, and it has been a fantastic year. Later.